Hey everyone, it's Jamie and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be catching back up with Thelma with the Morgana Goth Mystery. So yeah, we come right back into the mystery and I found that both um, Thelma and Satan were just watching their daughter sleep, which is kind of cute but a little creepy. So the next step in the Morgana Goth Mystery is to go to this here, this um... This little, like, little fire thing where you can help the spirits and speak with them, ask them for gifts and stuff. While everyone is going to sleep, because it is late, Thelma is going to go down here and she is going to go do that. If you remember last time, she was possessed. Um, and now she is unpossessed and she is like, ooh, I need to get to the bottom of this before things turn out badly. Things turn out badly. Things turn out badly. Here the cat, where's the cat? Delphi, where are you? There's Delphi. Oh, she's like our little familiar right now. Oh, Delphi's such a good cat. She's very loud. Argus, the spirits want me to dance? Seriously? All right, I'll do if it's for the fate of the world. Oh my God. Apparently now the whole world's in danger. She's so embarrassed, she doesn't want to dance. Is there room for her to dance here? They did put this bonfire in a weird spot. Oh, there she go. I think it's gonna be more like ritualistic dancing, but that's fine. Alright, now that I did it and the spirits are pleased and they had a good laugh, I think I can burn this horrendous book. I feel like burning books is never a good idea. Congratulations, you completed the Morgana Goth investigation as a reward your sim has gained a new trait that will allow you to use two dark magic spells without being possessed. You can also share your knowledge about dark magic and make other witches and warlocks learn those spells. Be careful as those two interactions may be autonomous. Oh, that's scary. So we finished the mystery a lot sooner than I thought we would, but hey, it's okay. It makes me wonder what else we can do. So the Morgana Goth mystery is officially over. I'm a little sad that it's over. Uh, I'm not mad that it was like a short little thing because I can't expect someone who made this free mod pack, I can't expect them to make a, like, a stranger bill level mystery, you know? But, you know, they, for what they did, also, like, they went above and beyond. Like, this mod pack is amazing. Like, even if we get witches in The Sims, I have a feeling I will still be using this pack. Because, like I said, it is just... So much fun. Um, with that saying, though, yeah, I still want you to make a pack for witches uh, because, you know, as great as this pack is, I know whatever EA will do will be even more 
immersive and hopefully they will do maybe a tr like if they're going to do a mystery or some kind of uh, aspiration that comes with it that would be fun because uh, like i said i had a lot of fun with the mystery as much as i wish it was longer i can't be mad that it was short because like like i said they made this for free on their own time and did not charge us a dime so like so you know i ain't gonna complain but yeah a little quick overview in case you forget because you know i do split these up um you know like kind of like weekly updates or uh, weekly episodes that would be so it, it begins off with Selma realizing there's something up with this statue of Morgana Goth they have and then she goes on to do some research and then she finds this book of dark spells and it seems to be whatever entity possessed her which we never learned what the entity was and I'm kind of fine with that I think very often uh the kind of mystery story I think very often these mystery kind of s stories over explain that's like another thing I liked about Strangerville we didn't learn where the mother came from, how she got in the secret lab, and things. I don't need to know that stuff. Like, yeah, I, it would be cool to know, but like, I didn't end the Strangerville mystery or this mystery be like wondering how these entities came into play. You know, like that's like that's fun things that you can add later, but like for as is, it's you know, it's more than fine right now. It's perfect. I love how it incorporated all the different I like usable items that you got from it that came with the pack. I thought that was also so clever. That's another thing that I will say Strangerville did kind of um lack in was there were so many cool things you got from the pack and that you can get in the world that you don't need to use. Um like another thing in the military career came with Strangerville, but you don't need to join the military. On one hand, I like because I'm not really interested in playing a military sim. But on the flip side, why add it? However, I think Strangeville is the best EA pack, and I think The Witches and Warlock is the best um, pack that is a mod pack. If there was any critique I would have of it, it's solely just don't call it Witches and Wizards or Witches and Warlocks. Let's call it Witches because I know in The Sims 3, which was like a gender neutral term. So I think that's where I'm going to cut this out. Uh, like I said, if you want to download this uh, mod pack, I'm going to leave the description down below. Let me know uh, what next you want me to do with my Sim Witches. Because um, I have a whole house full of them. And now that we have this pack, it's no longer just me pretending. Thank you.